because I still believe something. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm one of you. I figure I can lay zombies on top of anything that I see happening out there. You know, if there's, I've, I've had, it's actually been terrific. I mean, people say to me, well, you're stuck in this genre. And I say, hey, man, it's not like I made, you know, a movie about a knife-wielding guy, uh, you know, in a lake attacking uh, the, the boys' camp or, you know. I, I, find, it's, I find it a very da dangerous uh, climate. I mean, you know, if Hitler was out there, he wouldn't have to ever go out in town square, you know, he could just send up a blog and he'd have millions of followers and not just people from the area. So. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, it's interesting with this project because I became a cinematographer because of it. Um, I realized that the kind of, the way I wanted to shoot or the, the kind of images that I wanted, uh, I needed to explore them for myself. The documentary has been much more about exposition and information than it has about kind of creating it as a sense of cinema. But that, I think, you know, it really depends because there are a few films here and there that do uh, bring out, that are different documentary films. I mean, for me, one of the classic films that I consider kind of a documentary, but it's not, it's an art film, it's a film, is a Chris Marker's Saint Soleil. growing up in Los Angeles, they're searching for something. Unfortunately, they're caught up in a cycle where they have not been sufficiently educated. They are being provided with a third world education in a first world country, third world resources in a first world country, most of them from broken homes. And the sad fact is they're suffering. We look at that, you know, the evening news convinces us that they're animals, but in fact, they're young people, they're young Americans who have taken their energy and turned it upon each other. And I just don't think it's right to happen in our country.
So uh, I'm back in New York now, and this is not how the short was originally supposed to end. Uh, I had originally planned to shoot some press with Naomi Watts, Michael Haneke, and some of the others for Funny Games. And at the last second, that was canceled because of the news that broke on Tuesday. Uh, and as my shorts are very often a perversion of reality, I kind of felt it would be interesting in this case and quite appropriate for reality to win this time. Uh, I didn't know Heath Ledger personally, and like most artists, the real artist, you know, is only actually known by a handful of people during their lifetime, but it's the work that they create, that expression of who they are, that most people relate to, and it's that work that survives us. Um, I don't know, somehow this strikes me as an appropriate way to end this short, because honestly, this is how Sundance ended this year.